to show you one of our revived signature rituals. This is going to be done um, on your client during the massage um, service. So it's going to be the neck pull. So what we do is your bed should already be set up with a pillowcase right here on it when um, your client's already laying down. Um, so you're going to want to, I like to fold the pillowcase long ways, which is how it should already be folded. So we just kind of fold it over on top of each other. If there's not one already there, um, feel free to grab one. We're going to fold that and just slide it right underneath the client's head. You want to make sure if they have earrings on or not so that you don't fold this up over the ears and like kind of push the back of that earring into the back of their head. So I just like to kind of glide it right underneath their neck. And then I'm going to gently pull up until I see them raise up. So you can see her head is slightly raised. And then I'm going to pull back. And you want to make sure that that pillowcase is underneath their ears. So I just do a nice gentle pull until I usually look down the table and see her knees move slightly towards me. And then I'm going to hold it there for about 10 seconds. And then I'm going to gently release that back up. And then I'm going to go up again, pulling her up and then gently pulling her back, making sure that that pillowcase is under the ears and not on top of the ears to avoid any of those earrings going into the back or the butt of her head. Look for the kneecaps to come towards you. Going to gently release that back down. You don't want it to be any sudden movements. And then I'm going to take this. I'm going to position this so you can see a little bit better. I'm going to take one side of the pillowcase, drop it down towards her shoulder, put my hand here, put the other side up around her ear, and I'm going to do a gentle stretch over to the side. So I can hold that there for also about 10 seconds. case down on this side of the shoulder. Move this back over, making sure that that is underneath her earlobe. And then we're going to stretch this way. Same thing with the neck. You want it to be very subtle, soft movements. And then we take her back up. And I'm going to do a neck stretch one more time. So up, I wait to see her head raise up. see her knees come towards me. I'm going to hold for 10 seconds. And I'm going to gently release that. At this point in time, I'm going to transition to another part of her body. So I'm going to take this. No, nope, don't hit me Lex. Take this. I'm going to wrap this around her eyes because the body, the senses, um, are more heightened if you take one away. So by me covering up her eyes, I would ask her like, is she claustrophobic, anything like that. I uh, would take that sense away so that she forces her brain to relax more. Um, and then I would transition. I'm going to show you now how to do the scalp facial. Zoom in a little bit here. Bit For the scalp facial, you are going to use our surface product from the Awaken line. So we are going to be using the Awaken Elixir as well as the therapeutic treatment. Um, these are also available downstairs to sell. Um, the main ingredients in them are eucalyptus and cayenne pepper. They really help um, the scalp to feel revitalized and rejuvenated. So with the scalp facial, I'm going to go in. It dries like water, so if your clients are concerned about their hair being greasy or anything like that, um, as long as you're not running the oil through their scalp um, for this add-on service, it's going to dry just like water. So I'm just going to spray this in right at her scalp. 
spray that all over. And I'm gonna open this up slightly. You're gonna see it's a really kind of a water consistency. But I'm gonna run one bead down the center of her head and then one bead over from ear to ear. And that's gonna be all the product that you need for the scalp facial. in and I'm going to do the same scalp manipulations that we teach down in the ladder lounge. So we're going to be doing a zigzag approach which is going to look more like this. So zigzagging your thumbs all the way down the scalp. Then we're going to do circular motions like this. We're going to also do raking so you're going to come back in a motion like this. And then there's one more. Okay, I'll remember when I keep going. Okay, so we've got the raking motion. Drawing that up. The scalp massage is a great add-on, um, or the peppermint scalp treatment is a great add-on for anybody that's experiencing any scalp issues, oiliness, dry scalp, um, if they've got psoriasis, anything like that, the scalp massage, peppermint scalp treatment is awesome. We're going to go into circular motions. I like to do my manipulation in um, sets of three, kind of how we were trained in massage, and it's just an easy way to remember kind of what you're doing. But you're going to have the circular motions, the zigzag, the raking, and then I call it kind of the spot where I'm going to go like down over the ears. Um, my hands are kind of in this shape, so I'm going to go down over the ears and pull back slightly. is the scalp, peppermint scalp procedure.